Welcome back. I am live, back on the channel. It's been a while, I know. Um, I've been really busy this whole year with school, work, personal life things, a uh, whole bunch of things happened why I haven't posted a video in a really long time. <laughs> but a big one was I kind of gotten discouraged with YouTube and filming and a whole bunch of things, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get back at it ready to film some more content today today starting off with a bang I drew a horns longer than ears Nevada antelope tag and it is September 1st my season started a couple days ago <clears throat> and I'm heading out to go shoot an antelope I've got today's Wednesday I think I've got till Tuesday my dad is with me in the truck behind me um, and he has to leave Sunday my brother's coming up Friday. He'll I think he'll have to leave Sunday as well. But that leaves five days of hunting with my family and two days, the last two days if I need to, uh, I could stay out and a little bit longer trying to get it done. But I drew an antelope longer, horns longer than ears tag. And I'm excited. I, we got a few spots marked that might have water, we, they might not. It's smoky out. It's not terribly smoky. You know, I don't know if you guys can see out there, but it's it's smoky. Not terrible compared to what it's been in northern Nevada the past few weeks uh, or month or so. Just driving around and glassing the first day, trying to set up camp. Other than that, it's gonna be a fun hunt. I'm excited. I'm exci hunting season's here. It's here. It's only September. I've never had a tag this early. Um, I've gone. On a few of my brother's hunts he's had in September, but I've never drew a tag that's been- Two miles arrived. I put in for this tag for about six years. I think this was my seventh year and I finally drew an antelope tag. And this unit, we had, my brother had a deer tag in and we were just kicking around different places, trying to find deer. We couldn't find deer for the life of us in this unit, but we saw a good amount of antelope and we saw some big ones. We saw. I don't remember it because I was so young, <clears throat> but mm, my dad and my brother were saying how there's a, uh, it was like, I have a video somewhere of this just booner buck, and it was super far away, and they were just hauling ass away from us, but it was just apparently just this big old booner antelope, so they're in here, and my dad saw two antelope on the drive-in on the freeway, or on the highway. Uh, but there's antelope here, antelope to be seen, antelope to be shot. Let's go, let's have some fun, enjoy the first hunt of the year. I got a new gun that's gonna be for my, uh, for coyotes, if I end up seeing a coyote or two, or uh, afterwards maybe try some calling for some coyotes, but right now is antelope, antelope, antelope. Speed goat, speed goat, speed goat. I know it's gonna be hard, f it, biggest thing with antelope I know of is getting close to them. Their eyesight is great. Uh, their smell is great. It's just going to be really hard to get close to them once you spot. I'm not going to be super picky. A lot of people will be really picky with antelope. They want to shoot a big one and nothing wrong with that. I just want to get some meat on the ground. Uh, I am, I'm not going to shoot the first buck I see, but I'm not going to shoot, I'm not going to be holding out for a trophy. So wish me luck. Let's have some fun. Let's go. All right, so we found the first antelope, uh, three of them. Just as we were driving around, we stopped, got out, uh, and I was looking at what I thought was a watering hole, but I don't think it ended up being one. Um, and I just look over the hill, and I see three antelope on the skyline, and uh, put my binos up. And from what I could see, no bucks. Where we're going, we're going to check out a few places that uh, we think will hold water and uh, we're hoping around that area we'll have more antelope but so far we've seen three antelope and that's a good start for just basically driving around and kind of stopping here and there glassing a little bit what looks good so so far so good This is interesting. Day one of the antelope hunt, and 
or <laughs> someone already flipped a truck. <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay. Basically, to s recap, all that just happened was so we're driving along and we get up to this point and there's this big motorhome, looked like the big camp and I thought it was a hunter, didn't think anything of it. Kept going over the hill a little bit further, crested over the hill, saw a big dust trail like, you know, anyone driving on these dirt roads makes. And like we see the dust trail and it just like stops at one point. Then I keep going, get over the hill again and I see a truck on its side as you saw, as I took pictures of, as I took video of. And I, I get out, hey, you okay, you okay? He goes, the, f the first thing he says to me isn't, like he said he was okay or whatever, but he's like, God, I was trying to keep up with some guys on an ATV, trying to invite them to dinner and uh, like, gosh, I just wanted some friends. And it's like, he didn't, it's like he didn't care that he just rolled his truck. Long story short, we get him flipped over and he just keeps talking to us. Weird, weird things. Oh, there's some quail. <laughs> Are those chucker? Dems are chuckers, boys. Ha! Dang. Only if I could have seen those when I was chucker hunting. <laughs> um, but basically what uh we get this guy flipped over and then he's like oh, i can't find my keys i can't find my keys and we're like hey we can give you a ride he told us that motorhome was his that's his home he lives out here and he said he mines all these mines and, and i don't know what active mines there are right now or if he did those back in the day or what the more he kept talking, the more sketched out I think both that my dad and I got. The more stuff he said was just odd. It was just odd. And he's like, hey, can give us give me a tow back to my motorhome? You know, it's whatever. Two of his his driver's side tires were blown out and he's riding on the rims. And we're just we're thinking like Okay, that your rims are gonna get messed up, but hey, they're already they're already bent out of hell anyways. It don't matter. Can't find his keys. And he's like, oh, just drag me, it'll do it, it'll do it, blah, 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 blah. And um, he's like, hey, you can just drag me. And, and my dad, we're like, we don't, we don't want to do that. You don't need to do that. We can drop you off at home, which is literally five minutes up the road. We can drop you off there and give someone a call for you. We can do whatever. And he kept talking about his Marine, if his strong Marine friend or whatever was here. He'd blah, 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 blah. We don't know. But just the more he kept talking, the more sketched out we got. And when my dad would just tell him like, hey, we're not gonna drag your truck like this. He's like, you're judging me, you're blah, blah, blah. You're judging and you you need to, whatever, whatever the hell he said. I, it was like, it'll, it'll do it. You're just, why are you scared? You're just judging me, you're just judging me. And it's like, no, we don't need to, we can't turn your car, we can't turn your truck while it's being towed. If you could pop it in neutral, it was a manual, if you could pop it in neutral and put the keys in uh, in the ignition to unlock the steering, then then there would be nothing wrong, you know? But it, it was just weird, and so we just said, let's go. I got pictures of the license plate. Right now, we're just trying to get onto this road find cell reception or find a main road and he goes you're just not even helping me and it's like no we just flipped your truck back over 
and offered you all sorts of help. It, it, things happen, my guy, we get it. Things happen, mistakes get made. We're gonna figure it out and maybe try a new area because I don't want to be around this guy. My dad was saying how the guy who flipped the truck was coming the other way and maybe about 50 feet to about 50 yards he was driving, he had came off the road about 50 feet, 50 yards the other way. That's why I couldn't see his tracks was because he, I did. I was looking in the wrong way. I was looking where his tailgate was from, not where his headlights were from. But he came, he, he must have flipped it long ways and rolled somehow. I don't, I don't know how you even do that. We're just getting up to wherever we can get reception to report it. He's probably drinking and we for our safety had to just up and leave so we didn't we want to tell someone to know that there's this guy out here he may his home his motor home was not that far away so who knows if he like he could walk there but he lost his keys so does he not have his keys to get into his house anymore i don't know all right update again um I know you guys can't see me. Driving back, trying to get to the highway um, to find some cell reception. And obviously, as you can tell, got dark. Driving along and I see a, a truck with some extra auxiliary lights coming up. And then he flips on red and blues real quick. And so I knew it was like the sheriff or something. And sure enough, it was the sheriff. He came up and asked if we were the ones that called in about picking some guy up off the side of the road. And we said no, but explained to him all that happened. Uh, he got my information and I uh, showed him the pictures and everything that I had. And uh, basically what happened to what I know, someone else came along and I'm assuming he was still by his truck or walking back to his motor home that he lived in. And uh, someone picked him up or stopped by and he was saying how he had GPS using some sort of GPS I would assume sort of satellite phone or whatever texted his wife coordinates and his wife called in to the sheriff about what happened how they picked up some guy off the side of the road and then the sheriff came out to go get him so we gave him what we knew and he goes cool just whenever you get into service uh, to send him the pictures and so we got it all figured out, taken care of. There's someone going to check on what, whatever the hell happened with that guy and make sure he's okay, make sure everything gets resolved. Let's go find some antelope.